Hey guys, Sonic Gaming here, and welcome to the second episode of How Not to Play StarCraft 2. Now, I did just actually do all this. I did everything you had to do, but unfortunately, I turned my microphone off. So, I've got to do this again. So, face palm for me. You heard that? That was me face palming. So, anyway. This is how not to play StarCraft 2, or in my case this time, how to play StarCraft 2, because I actually win. I know, right? It's amazing. So, I just noticed, the Terran decals show on your thing. Does Zerg decals actually show anywhere? Or not? Hmm, oh well. So anyway, so here's the, here's the start of the game. So, I start scouting at 10, which unlike my last Terran game, <laughs> four acts if you watch that I didn't scout properly and I uh, got my backside handed to me because of that so I get a spawning pool much earlier than I did last time because I was like oh I was greedy last time let's not be greedy this time and lose however this player does exactly what I wanted the last player to do he walls in and he macros up so look there you go wall in basic play so he's sending a scout out I'm building some so, some what am I building? I'm building I build some Zerglings. Now there you go. Nope, that's a that that is not a Zergling. What is a Zergling? There you go, there's a Zergling. So anyway, um So here's the start of the game. We're matched on drones, on SCVs and drones. I have a tad more resource than him, just a bit, so there you go, I take down that SC bay. So my in my resource is a lot higher than his, but he he gets he's got a really good start. I mean, if he'd expanded, if not expanded, if he'd progressed onto a solid tactic, he probably would have won this. The problem is he progressed to double refinery Banshee Expand. And because I scouted that before it could come in, I ha I was prepared for it. So, the reason I win this game is because I scout properly. Whereas in the other games, I just don't scout properly. Now, if you notice this, he's building a few marines and putting them in... Bunker. So he sees this overlord, he goes to kill it. I don't think I see much if I... Nope, that's fine. If I don't see much, I don't manage to see his factory, which is kind of what I needed to see. But I still have map control at the moment. So I've got my Roach Warren up. And you know me, I like going Roach Hydralesque. Well, you don't know me yet, but you will know me. I like going Roach Hydralesque. And a bit of Infestus to spice it up. So I start getting my left. Six minutes, and it's not bad. I've got one gas and I've got two gas, so I start managing to catch him up on gas. So I've got my second expansion here. He's nowhere near going to a second expansion, he's just not even thought about it. So I've got some I've got some Zerglings. I was going to mark this expansion so he couldn't take it. Turns out he went to this expansion instead, which is kind of awkward, but oh well. So he scans me. What does he see? Nothing. That's why I've placed them back here. He sees absolutely nothing. He just sees I've got double gas. He doesn't know I've expanded yet. He doesn't know I've got roaches and hydras, but I've got my hive up. Now this is this is what win this is what stops him winning the game. I send this overlord in, and what do I see? I see oh look, double starport. What's on the starport? Double tech lab. He's not going to be dropping then. What's he going to be doing? He's going to be double refinery ban banshee rushing. I that's the first conclusion I came to. I was like double refinery banshee rushing. So I'm instantly getting a Hydralis Den and an Evolution Chamber. The Evolution Chamber, of course, is to get Spore Crawlers up, because, let's face it, Spore Crawlers are lovely. So if we just speed up for a bit. So he hasn't got his first batches out, but now he's expanding. I've got Hydralis Dens. I've got a ton more drones than him, so my economy's way better than him. And I'm building some static defences. Now if we slow it down a bit. So now he sends in these batches. And I have static defense. I thought, if I'm perfectly honest with you, don't want to make me sound better than I am. I thought he was dropping. I didn't see the tech labs at first. So I was building at the back because I expected him to come like drop in here. But I see these banches and I'm like, oh, he's going banches instead. Okay, then I can deal with banches. So I, there you go. I take those down, no problem. Now, he doesn't do anything in response to that. He's got quite a lot of money stacking up. He's not building anything, except this base, which he's transferring off. That's the only thing he's doing. Whereas I, 
I'm starting to build more extractors. I'm getting some more drones on there. I'm building more drones to thing. I'm getting. I'm researching melee attacks. I'm doing quite a bit, whereas he's not doing much. So, must be slow this down a bit. So I get these two extractors up, and I'm like, right, I need more gas because I'm going to go hydralists, and hydralists are quite gas expensive. So I get the first missile weapon. And now I'm building my infestation pit. Because to be perfectly honest, I've seen his wall up here. I'm like, he's got tank. Oh, I haven't seen, I think I've seen his tank yet. No, I haven't seen his tank yet. I've got burrow, by the way, just in case you were wondering. But I just don't use it much in this game. So I send this overseer in. I'm like, oh, he hasn't got much. Unfortunately, he does have... Sorry, guys, back. So anyway, I build this overlord. But he has missile turret detectors. So he just sees this instantly. He's like, oh, go in. Okay, you're dead. What I, however, say is I see he's got this, I see he's building a new base, I see he's got factories up. Unfortunately, I don't. In fact, I see this again. I see this two times. He scans me, I believe. Where does he scan me? He scans me there. And he sees, what does he see? Nothing. Again. He hasn't seen any of this. I've got infestation pit. I'm morphing to hive here. So I'm way economic, uh, economically ahead of him. I'm technologically ahead of him. I'm ahead of him in army. I'm ahead of him in expansions. I I pretty much just did this game well. So I see he's got tanks at this point. I'm like, oh, tanks, right. Okay, then. So we go to everything. So he's got an expansion up here. He has a little expansion. Sorry, I'm talking talk quite fast, this game. He's got expansion up here. He's just chilling up there. I see that he's making expansion. I block it. I'm like, no, you're not doing anything. You're blocked. Uh, you're not, you're not playing there. Go away. So what does he do? He builds some Hellions, sends them out, and he roasts my drones. Roasts my drones? Roasts my Zerglings. I almost take down one. I was quite surprised at that. Then again, I do think I have... No, I don't have any upgrades. Now, I've got Hive, and I'm building an Ultralist Cavern at this point. Because I know he's walled in. I know he's probably going to build a, f a planetary fortress there. I don't know it for sure, but I guessed. I didn't think he'd build another Orbital Command being so defensive. Uh, he's building more Banshees. Now, more Banshees, when he's already seen that I've got Static Air Defense, I've got Overseers, and I've got Hydralisks. I'm going Hydralisks. He knows this. Well, he doesn't know this. That's a lie. Look, he hasn't seen anything. Engine screaming. But, t but, he still doesn't know what I'm going to do. So, I send in these Zerglings, and I'm like, okay, let's see if I can take that expansion. Oh, he's got a planetary fortress, right. So, I am going to need Zerg... So I am going to need try this. So, what am I doing here? I'm research... I build two evolution chambers, and I'm researching everything. I'm building more overseers, so I can get a bigger army. I'm building a Nidus network, I kind of forget about that later on. I've got two bases going on to my third. So, I'm I've just matched him, but economically, I'm just stupidly far ahead of him. He's not spending his orbital command thing wisely. He's do he's using it to what? Did oh no, he is using it for mules. I thought he was using it for supply depots. So anyway, at this point, I'm sending some investors in. I'm thinking maybe I can infest the terrain this and like cut him off. It does work to an extent because as he comes in with these, he's like, "Ooh, hello there, a Zerg base. I'll take these down." So he things and he comes in here. So I send some hydralists up here. Meanwhile, I go, let's put down some infested terrans. And I just walk away. So there you go. That's quite a lot of infested terrans just spawned in and he's got to run away basically. So that cuts off his economy for a while. Meanwhile, if we just dra ooh, drag it back a bit. So meanwhile, What's happening? Speed up a bit. Well, that's happening. I send a ton of hydralisks. A few get killed, but I can afford to let a few get killed. I'm sitting on a pretty strong economy here. Now, and there's some overseer here, and it's kind of wipe. Basically, he's busy looking over here. So what he's not looking at is this, which means I get to kill them all. Now, at this point, I'm sitting on a really big economy. You might be thinking, why are I... Why why am I not doing anything with this? The reason I'm not doing anything with this is because... I'll just scroll out a bit. I'm saving it. What am I saving it for? Those. So there goes all my gas. Like every... I just... I, how many did I spend? 
I spent a ton of resources on a ton of units. So I've got I'm on three bases now, same as him. However, he he's now matched and overtaken me in drones. But I don't want need I don't mind that because my army is so far ahead of him, it's unfeasible. I'm getting new armor. I've got chitmas plating. So I'm already on four armor and one armor upgrades. And they go four ultralisks. What's he got to count four ultralisks? Nothing. Now I start building a baneling nest. So because I've seen he's walled in, I see he's got plenty of ultralisks. I'm like, how do I take down that? Let's baneling bust him. He's now building his fourth base, which is all good. But at this point, I get chitmas armor. I start getting upgrades too. I start getting neural parasites. I do get adrenal gland soon. I start getting uh, tunneling claws. So I'm pretty much getting all my upgrades. What has he got? Nothing. 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 Something. So he's got a little bit of Terran plate armor, which gives this an armor of five, which is pretty decent. That pretty much negates the use of zerglings. But then again, I'm not using zerglings. I'm using banelings. <laughs> so I'm researching neuroparasite as well. I've got evolved tunneling claws. And I've got, uh, as you see, I've got 21 larvae here. And my arm is coming in. So there you go. That's 34 banelings. That's a pretty ridiculously large force. But I still have these 21 larva. So even if he does manage to push me out with something, I'm now getting pathogen glands, melee attacks too. There's the adrenal glands. There's gyro reconstruction. There's central hit. So I'm getting, so I'm getting all my upgrades. So I spawn a worm. And there you go. The, these armoured, so I'm doing 39 hit. Look how fast that goes down. It's pretty ridiculous. My beans here, I kind of messed this up. But I do manage to break, like I was attempting to, I break his wall down. Which is what I was aiming for. I also managed to burn down one of his bunkers. Now I'm like, oh look. So, that was a Seeker missile. Now that did a ton of damage to my army. Unfortunately, it did a bit more damage to his army than he would have liked. I think if that Seeker missile had been a bit more well placed, he would have beaten me back here. But unfortunately it wasn't. So he hasn't got much left here. I've got so many upgrades that it's kind of just pointless. I mean, my hydralisks have armor. I know, right? Armored hydralisks. You've, you're all... And look how much money he's got. I mean, I, I don't want to say that this that he's a bad player, but I also know a like this. But really, 3,600 minerals. He could have built five barracks and been spamming out marines constantly. I mean... 40 marines would have negated that attack. 40, with what he had, another 40 marines, he would have beaten me. So I've seen this base, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I've seen this base, so I'm sending in some zerglings. I'm like, go on then, I'll send in some zerglings. He's still gathering money from this base, I'm not sure why he hasn't left yet. But I've still got 10 lava. So, if we just speed this up here, there's not really much else to watch. Here I go. In, he's got, because he's armoured his buildings now, my ultralisks just rip through them. So, there they go. So he gets the right idea at, uh, too, way too late. There you go, the plant fortress just goes down. It can't take on two ultralisks hitting it. Well, one ultralisk. But I've taken down enough of the SCVs that it doesn't matter. I mean, there you go. I mean, his SCVs can't even hurt the ultralisks, that's how hard it is. And there he goes. He's left. So, game over. And look at what I had. Over two things of Bane and Cocoons, and still Zerglings being morphed. I could have happily... I mean, I still had two Queens. I only had one base on maximum resources, but I still had resources to spare. Even if he did have two bases over here, and had a ton of resources, I would have been able to push him out. He just didn't have the forces to stop me. So, on a little overview... The reason why I won this, won this game is the scouting. If I hadn't have scouted those banshees, he would have wrecked my economy too early on the game, and I think he would have been able to push forward and beat me. But because I did scout his banshees, and I acted accordingly, I beat him. Another thing is I used my money, and I expanded quicker than him. But then again, that this has been Sonic Gaming, telling you how 
not to play StarCraft 2, or in this case, how to play StarCraft 2. So, on Gaming, see you next time.